some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we take a look at the butt hurt frauditor known as Lucky Laptop News as he goes around filing complaints over a uh, issue of him getting kicked out of a building some time ago. And, uh, well, yeah, he just ends up making himself look like a spoiled, petulant little moron child at this point, one who has no morals whatsoever, and, uh, well, just has no place in civilized society. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy watching this idiot make a total fool of himself. You know, that look on your face, uh, lucky laptop, says to me that somebody shit in your cornflakes this morning. Is that true? Did somebody uh, step into something and uh, make you eat it? You want to take it with you? I'm going to fill it out in the car and bring it back in. Got one in the car. Okay, no problem. Uh, did you steal it from Goat Boy? Because Goat Boy emailed me the other day saying that uh, uh, his favorite clipboard had gone missing and he suspected some creepy sesser had done it. I didn't think he meant me. But yeah, I mean, I might as well go ahead and uh, reply to him and uh, let him know that his uh, lost uh, clipboard may have been found. But thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. I thank you for your professionalism. There you are, sir. Um, also, don't know if it's here I need to do it or the police department, but I need to put in a sunshine request. Okay. For whoever the police department is bond and insured through. Okay. Because I would um, like to put in a complaint directly to them. Okay. Let me get you that request form for here as well. And we can, we can take care of that. So you want to complain against the insurance company that provides the insurance to... Uh, the officers at the police department for, uh, let's say, trespassing you uh, out of a, a building that you had no legitimate business being in in the first place and end up getting trespassed from? Okay, what sense does that make? I mean, only in the mind of a frauder does uh, making a complaint about the insurance company make any sense whatsoever, considering they had nothing to do with you getting uh, kicked out or anything like that. That's all on you. Can I get your name, ma'am, if you don't mind? My name is Heather Tooley. Oh, thank you, Heather. You are welcome. I think you were the one that was nice to me last time, too. Well, I think it goes like this, dude. I mean, the only reason why she's being nice to you at this point is because you have at least shown a little bit of respect toward her in this particular encounter. Unlike other scenarios where you act like a complete gibbering idiot and, uh, well, you uh, don't exactly gain the respect of anybody around and you end up uh, getting uh, booted out of every place you uh, walk into. I mean, is it any wonder why you actually remember the nice ones when there's so few of them? I mean, then that's because of your d dumbass. Your administrator and the chief of police was not so nice. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, we're going to go out the car, and then I'll be right back in with them. Okay. All right, thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. All right, we're heading in again to put in the complaints now. Oops. <laughs> Plus, that's the city administrator anyway, right? The gal that just... Yeah. No, she's not. Okay. No. Because that's who the complaint's for. On... The city administrator. It's on the city administrator? Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I'll have to figure out... 
figure out how to go about that because normally with a complaint form that comes in on any city employee it usually goes to the city administrator so I'll probably have to talk to the mayor about that. Well that's why I was trying to get hold of the mayor but no one would ever get me any information to get hold of the mayor. Well, unfortunately, she only has her cell phone. Yeah, and see, I had somebody that was said that he was running for a Congress or, letter or something like that. He was running for some kind of, well, what was Josh running for? Something in this little town? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But even he had to give up his cell phone number as public information if he won. Hey, you lame brain nitwit. Uh, it wouldn't be his uh, personal cell phone that he would have to give out. It would be his own. Uh, official number for his position that way he's not getting all sorts of phone calls at the, in the middle of the night from nimrods like yourself i'm sorry josh it's he's not around here but oh, okay okay i apologize i thought you were talking about somebody here no i was just trying to understand i'm sorry okay so um we'll take care of that now um oh and you did provide an email and i am going to be trying to get a hold of the department of justice about all this too <laughs> oh wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at the little butt hurt frauder. His feelings are hurt that he got kicked out of that building. And now he wants to go to the Department of Justice and uh, see if there are a bunch of feelings enforcers there. Oh, me, oh, my, lucky laptop. I thought you didn't believe in the cops being feelings enforcers. I mean, you're just like any other frauditor, isn't that right? Oh, wait, 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 never mind. Uh, yeah, every other frauditor would definitely be butthurt, too. But I don't think they'd take it all the way to the, uh, Department of Justice, either. Then again, we are dealing with a bunch of, uh, morons. Okay, okay. And let's see. So you're just wanting, the records you're requesting is just on whoever the, the, the insurance. So the bonded in insurance, not not for their vehicles, but right. for like if they break something or something like that, sure. because right. I am putting in a complaint to the insurance company themselves. Right. I understand. Oh my God, who the hell cares? Yes. I now put in, are you, you the city administrator? Yes. Okay. Me and you probably don't need to be talking because I just put in a complaint against you. Okay. Yeah, uh, away with you, you public servant. You're my... Steve, didn't you know that? I can shoo you away anytime I feel like it. I can complain against you, too. Yeah, yeah, we all know that you uh, are mad with power and everything like that, considering that you are just like any other frauder. You consider uh, public servants to be your personal slaves. Yeah, we all know that. You kicked me out of a public building last time without breaking a law. I was talking loudly. I wasn't cussing. I wasn't yelling. That's not disorderly conduct. You Sir, whatever you need to do is fine. You can give me that information. I can give that information to you verbally now if you'd like, or I can write it down for you. Could you write it down for me? Absolutely. Um, so did you want a phone number as well for them? Yes. The insurance? Okay, no problem. Let me just look that up real quick. Okay, hang on. Are you recording, sir? Are you recording? Okay, thank you. Sir, are you recording? If you are, I would like that. I would like to get that. Uh, that's public information now. Right. Here we go. Here, well, I look this up for you, okay? okay? I mean, all that officer had to do was give me a sergeant, a chief of police or something that day so I could put in a complaint and said he came and harassed me. No, dude. Uh, he didn't come and harass you. Uh, he came in and uh, booted your sorry ass out of the building because you, like any other frauditor, uh, come into the buildings and uh, will become totally mad with power and believe that you can uh, throw your weight around and order everybody around inside that building when it that's further from the truth. Flipping off a cop is not against the law. I'm being very nice. I'm not yelling, not cussing.
And I can't help it if a big channel picks up my story and everybody calls. Okay, okay. So now when this uh, place gets call flooded because of a bigger channel, we know who to contact uh, for it anyway. At least one person anyway. And that would be your dumbass. Thank you. You're very welcome. Have a good day. I will. You too. Ma'am, thank you. You're very professional. You know what? I think you need to be the city administrator. Yeah, I don't know about that. I do. Have You've been very polite. Okay. Hey, bad form, dude. Very bad form right there. I mean, you got a woman willing to follow you around and everything like that, and you don't even bother opening the car door for her? Uh, what kind of animal are you? Oh, wait, I forgot who I was talking about. I was talking about a low-down, no-good, dirty, uh, snake-in-the-grass frauder. That's who I was talking about. They have no morals, and they're certainly not gentlemen. Just a reminder, they're always watching you. And look, they're watching from the window. Oh, look, he's recording me. He's recording me. Oh, he's recording me. Oh, my God. I could really care less. Do you know what I just heard coming out of your mouth? Oh, oh you want to play that game? You want to play that game? Oh, now he's going to hide in the corner. Do you see how childish he's being, guys? That's the chief of police. Dude, it's apparent that you've got uh, a lot of growing up and a lot of maturing to do. So no wonder you ended up being booted out of that building and uh, becoming so butthurt over it. Boy, you really need to grow up. I mean, that's for damn sure. Hang on. He's being really, really childish. <laughs> that was childish. Wow, dude, you've got a lot of issues, especially with projection, maybe? He wanted to get his camera out and try to record me and then hide. <sighs> Over there. Want me to stop going live? Yeah, go ahead. What, can you read the messages? And I gotta have a Kleenex. No, I can't. Give me a Kleenex, please. I'm working on it. No, I can't read them. They're too small. It is raining a little bit, so my computer is getting a little damp, but... We had... 19 views. Oh yeah, for those of you who uh, don't know, uh, this guy uh, likes to bring his laptop as his camera to all his audits. So if you see an idiot uh, holding a laptop with the camera facing in that general direction, yeah, it's got to be this complete douchebag who lacks all bit of common sense to begin with for bringing a damn laptop to an audit rather than a proper cell phone camera. At least the cell phone is a bit more portable and uh, convenient in many different situations. Such as this one, it would be less vulnerable to the weather conditions, you dumbass. 11 conversations, chat rate was 5. Okay, I'm at Will PD now. I'm gonna get a complaint for the chief. No, no one's here. Imagine that. Uh, so much for that. No one's here. Play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. Should we go to the Highway Patrol and see if they want to pick up charges? 
Probably not. Why not? Because they won't do anything. Never knocking. Uh, no one's here, everybody, so I'll talk to y'all later. Peace out. Be safe. Thank you for watching Lucky Laptop News. Yeah, more complaints. Yeah, good luck with that. It's uh, kind of like, at this point, the boy who cried wolf. Yeah, I'm sure they'll believe you. I'm sure they'll uh, take you up and uh, actually uh, uh, look into that complaint. Uh, or they'll probably just file it under the fraudulent complaints uh, under file 13 and be done with it. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. You don't want to go to jail. For what? You read this. Yeah. I don't have to listen to read anything. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not listening. Gosh. I'm not. No, sexual oriented protection. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. You suck. They think they know it all. What's the Third Amendment, punk? Tell me the Third Amendment and I'll leave. What's the Third Amendment? What's the Third Amendment and I'll fucking leave right now? What's the Third Amendment? Tell me. What's the Third Amendment? Most definitely. Because you don't understand why I'm here with a camera doesn't mean I have to get out of here. Doesn't mean I have to leave. Doesn't mean I have to go. <clears throat> that sort of thing. Well, this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to have to enforce the, the CT and have you leave the property. Um, per the postmaster, per the lead, uh, per the um, the uh, the person, the landlord of this uh, facility. Uh, so with that said, um, oh, I've got too many entities. I know. You gave me a warning to get off the property. I got off the property. I need your name, date of birth. No, sir. You're either going to provide or you're going to. I'm going to remain silent, sir. Okay. Do you want my name and date of birth? Put your hands right now. He chose. Morning. Morning, Deputy Regan St. John's County Sheriff's Office. Two reasons I'm stopping you. One, Pine Island speed limit's 25. You're going 36. Okay. That's still 10 miles per hour over the posted speed limit. It's 25. No, it's not 25? So, I was going at 35. Also. So, that's 10 over. You just told me that you're going 10 over the supposed speed limit. Um, well, I didn't it, yes, you did. You said you're going 35, right? Yeah, but I said... That's a 25. 25. No, ma'am. It's... it. The whole thing's 25. Okay. The other issue is your license plate cover is illegal. You can't have a tinted license plate cover over your license plate. How are you? Okay, I'm doing good. Well, you're detained right now. You're not free to leave, okay? Yeah, Why? I've been calling after you. You know you're not to be on campus. No. Put the phone down. She yes. asked me to leave and I left. No, ma'am. So you, you guys... You are now under arrest. You guys were arresting me for nothing. No. You know you've been arrested for this before. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. <laughs> Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that? You know why you're kicking me out? Because you don't want what, someone watching a movie in the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I know some of y'all are disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, I hope that you will continue to watch this channel because this channel has brought more good than negativity.